What the heck are you looking at? And you, you make me sick. And you, I mean, you just look cool. Keep it up. Hey guys, I'm Jay Biggs. Today we're taking a look at Shadow Core VR. This is a multiplayer only hero shooter like Overwatch. It's made by Cerebrum Lab and it came out in early access in November 2017. The game currently has three heroes, Icebreaker, The Raid, and Flatline. You've got Icebreaker, which is the, the tank role. He's got a minigun with alt fire, which uh, stuns players. He's got a deployable shield that he can put up and a special ability that lays down armor for your teammates. Next up we have The Raid who's the DPS role of the game. He's got a rifle, wrist rockets, and his special ability gives him limited auto-aim, lock-on to enemies. And then we have Flatline, which is a support role, and she's got a sniper rifle that doubles as an SMG, uh, wrist rockets, and her special ability lets you see enemies through walls. There's two game modes, Shadow Core, capture the key area to collect points, and hacking, collect the data in the enemy base and return it to your computer. So that's pretty much capture the flag. There appear to be two maps, Refuse and Vertigo. Let me go, uh, Damage. Okay. There's Snap Turn. Snap Turn's alright. I already walked through. To, why would I press X on my keyboard? I wouldn't. Welcome to Shadow Core Training, a hero shooter. Point gun down or put on chest, it moves faster. Okay. What's this percentage here? Recharge. Uh, or my, my super, my special. This is good. How do I reload, just like? Cool. Ooh. Secondary fire. Full auto and semi-auto. Cool. Let's go. Okay, those are friendly bots, I assume. Yeah. Getting some stutters. Might need to turn the graphics down. Here's somebody coming. Couldn't cancel that. Point captured. As soon as I die, I'm going to turn the graphics down a little bit. Because it's chopping. Captured. Try high. Still chopping.
How do I use my special? Okay, that's a stun, I guess. That was weird. Auto-targeting. Alright, I'm having performance problems here. I'm gonna try even... medium settings. Point, capture. This isn't bad, though. That's hard to aim. a big gun. He's got wrist rockets too. Oh no, shield. That's handy. It's got some recoil to it. As it should. Double kill. Where they got me. Uh, yeah, let's try here. Reloaded. That's cool. So you bring this close enough to your face and then it switches to scope mode. And you're still aiming with your... with your controls, not your head or anything. That works well. It's a flat... doesn't seem to be a 3D image they give you. But that's alright. Secondary fires an SMG. And it automatically switches for you, that's good. Got her. Got him. Sticking with Flatline. Might be my favorite class, actually. Her uh, SMG mode. It's got crazy recoil. See if anybody is playing online. No games found. The plight of VR multiplayer games. Psh, 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 psh. You want another one? Shadowcore VR currently costs 569 Canadian, which is about 442 US. So it's very affordable. It's roughly two gigs to download. What are my thoughts on it? Well, there's very few people playing. That's a big problem with a lot of multiplayer shooters in VR. But the developers recommend getting on their Discord to try and find some people to play with. Uh, in fact, recently they had a major price drop to try and attract more players. It does have AI to fight against, so you're not completely alone out there. I think, you know, it could do well with maybe having a few more heroes. Kind of mix up the gameplay a little bit more. What's there is good, but I don't know, some, some different dynamics maybe. And it could definitely use more maps, which I'm sure are coming. Overall, it's hard to recommend the game just because there aren't many players. Which is no fault of the devs, as far as I can see. It's just, it's just the way VR multiplayer games are right now, which is a real shame. I don't know, I'd say if you have like five bucks to spend and you want to check the game out, I think you should go for it. Definitely want to support these guys and what they're doing. I know how hard it is to develop a game. It's entirely up to you. I think the foundation is there. I'd like to see the game grow. And uh, those are my thoughts. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps my channel to grow. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will catch you guys next time. Nice robot. <laughs> yeah, you like that. You like that. You want some computer chips? Here. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy.